how's everybody doing today? I'm so glad you could join me because I have some new art supplies that I just got in the mail. I'm very excited to share them with you. So stay tuned if you'd like to see some new products. Okay, I've seen this on Amazon and I've seen a couple other artists were testing these out. And ta-da! This is one of those glass ink pens, the dip pens. And I was just gonna get one of the, the um, glass pens, but this was only a couple dollars more and you got all these really nice looking inks. So I went for the box set, just in case, cause you know I need more stuff in this um, area. But uh, let me go through some of these things. You get two pens and then you got a little holder and you got this little glass probably for um, your cleaner or whatever, but look at all those nice colors. So in a little bit, I'm going to turn you around and we're going to get more into this and do a little swatches of all these things and um, get into what the pens are like. But there's something else I got along with this. And I thought, what is that? What on earth is that? So I'm going to unwrap it for you. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I thought it was some kind of drug apparatus at first glance. Now that I get it, obviously, like, it doesn't look so much like it. But yeah, I thought this was some kind of bong thing. But I guess um, you can put your cleaner down in here. And then your dip pen, there's a hole down in there. Can you see that? So your dip pen will sit down in here. And then when you use it, you can take out this little cork. And then you can clean that off in your cleaning solution down there. But I just thought this was so interesting that I had to get it and check it out. Um, and plus, this kind of will look neat on a table, as if I have room for stuff like this. But I might keep it upstairs on my desk just for a display thing, because these, di these dip pens are very pretty. So, yeah, this is what we're going to be going over today. Um, I'm going to flip you around, and we're going to get into swatching this. I'm so excited about this, you guys. All right, so here is the kit. I will leave the link down below for where I got this on Amazon. But here is this little holder. So now I have two holders, this and this. And it came with two pens. I don't know if they're different sizes or what the story is. So here's the first one. And they have all different kind of colors of these glass things. Um, this one just happens to come with silver and a pretty flower one. But they had really pretty colors. So... So you can see, there you go. You can see the silver in there. So there's the first one. All right, well, finally I got that off. Yeah, that was a little dangerous, not gonna lie. If you get one of these yourself, please be careful taking off those rubber tips. But it looks like the same size to me. So I guess we just get two different kinds of pens in here, just pretties to display. So here is those. Now let me demonstrate. So that's how that little glass thing works. And then our hookah bong here. So it's just like that. hold your pen and then you can put your stuff down in here. Now I'm not going to do that because I think it's going to be hard to clean out your cleaner from down in here. So I'm probably not going to use that as such, but I might have to put something down in here to weight it. But yeah, I just thought that was a very pretty display thing. Maybe I'll put some kind of, um, colored liquid down there. I don't know. Here's what this looks like up close, I guess. Let me take this out. It's like a glass blown Christmas ornament looking thing. Very pretty and interesting. So I'm glad. I think this is going to be neat to sit out somewhere. All right, let me get out some paper and we can do some quick little swatches of some of these inks. Probably not all, just a few. Okay, I'm going to try the medium purple first. 
Now I am not an expert at using this. Uh, I've only seen it done a couple of times, so um, I'm doing something incorrectly. Don't yell at me too harshly in these comments. I don't know how far to dip that down. Does that look right? I don't know where to hold this. I'm a mess. Oh. Goodness. It's still going. I'm just going to keep going to see how long we got here. By the way, this is just some um, watercolor paper, my little sketchbook. Look at this. You know, with your traditional dip pen, I mean, you have to dip it constantly to get the ink to flow off your pen correctly. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but geez. Wow. Oh, 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 we got some life left. I'm not sure what to say. And look at this. I just don't, I'm beside myself a little bit. Okay, I think we're on our last leg down here. Yep. Oh my goodness. That was just one dip, guys. One dip. I'm speechless, actually. Uh, I don't know what to say. That might be the coolest thing ever. That is so fun. Okay, well, there's the blue. Um... Yeah. When I do my little swatches, I'm going to have to watch out because I'm not going to need that much. Oops. Well, I couldn't stand the way I was swatching it before, so because I'm crazy, I had to make myself a little swatch grid. And the fact that these was, were in a random color order drove me batshit crazy. So I went ahead and put these in some kind of progression of color, and I'm swatching it. Some things to note here, um, they're kind of messy to get open because they have rubber stoppers. The rubber stopper is really good for storage, but as you can see, I'm a mully grub and now it's all over my hands. But I'm going to do a couple of the swatches for you in live time so you can see what these inks are like. I have no problem with the inks. Um, they don't match the names so much, but that's why you do a swatch card. But this is this little rubber stopper thing here. All right. And it's kind of hard to get off. Of course, I have like arthritic hands and stuff, so somebody else might be able to get that off a little easier. Um, something to note is these inks smell a little odd. Um, the other inks I have don't have this weird odor. I'm Not that it's... It's just odd. It's not, like, bad. It's not rancid. It's just a little weird. I don't own many colored inks like this, so it could just be a normal thing. I don't know. Olive... Yeah, this is a little bit of a messy process, 
But once, you, I mean, let's say you're doing a project or you're doing some writing and you know what colors you want, just open them up all at once and you don't have to keep, you know, getting them all over the place. So far, I am impressed with um, the variety of colors you're getting. Like I said, it was only a couple dollars more to get these inks along with two pens. So that's why I went ahead and did it. Normally, I wouldn't have got, got all this ink, but like I said, it was just, I mean, maybe $5 more. I thought, well, that was a deal. Moss. Now that I have all these inks, I guess I didn't have to dip that again. I'm so used to going back and dipping constantly with ink. You don't have to do that with these. These will last forever. But now that I have all these neat pens and different colored inks, I might have to do something fun for Inktober for you guys. If anybody's interested in that, please comment down below and I'll start a thinking about something to do for you. So yeah, there's just a couple in live time. I'm going to go ahead and swatch the rest out. It's probably going to take me a little bit, and I will be back. So here is everything swatched out. I did notice when I was shaking these up, there is micro glitter. It's just in the bottle. I didn't see any transfer off into the swatches. I mainly noticed for the gold shade, and it kind of has barely a sheen. But the little shimmers didn't come off on the paper like you could see them in the bottom of the little bottles. But yeah, I think it's a nice variety of colors. Like I said, I don't work with colored ink that much. They seemed okay to me. There was a little bit of an odor, but that could just be the odor of ink. I don't know. Uh, this is super fun. And I'm going to put it somewhere that looks neat. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have these kind of materials, let me know what kind of art you produce with these or if you just use it for calligraphy or writing. Uh, anyway, I'm so glad you decided to join me today, and I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.